In this video, I would like to talk about the Zen Time app. This program may unexpectedly appear in your system under the guise of a legitimate ad, but in fact, it is a rather unpleasant thing known as proxyware. In this video, I will explain why Zen Time is dangerous, where it came from, and how to remove it. So, let's begin with understanding what Zen Time is. On the surface, it is a small utility that allegedly helps to control the time you spend at the computer without taking a break. Well, being of a rather benign purpose, taking care of your eyes is undoubtedly important, there is no need to use a third-party program for this. Windows already has a tool called Focus Mode that notifies you to have a rest after the time you have set. But well, the fact that this program is borderline useless is not that much of a problem. A much bigger issue here is that it is monetized in a rather questionable way. During the installation, you can see the offer to share a part of your traffic Quote unquote, under the global hub SDK. This SDK is a thing that allows adding a proxy module into the program, effectively turning your system into a proxy node. And the program itself, therefore, falls under the category of proxyware. And this is a major problem. You see, proxyware is a particularly rare type of unwanted programs, and not many people are aware about it. This app, as I said, makes your computer a proxy node, which allegedly serves for collecting marketing data, search results, and similar stuff. At the same time, no one can guarantee that such access will not turn into a more classic one, with random people routing their traffic through your PC, and you are not even paid for it. In fact, you pay for the internet they use, and if you have a metered connection, well, you will not like the paycheck at the end of the month. So, at this point, the question arises how to get rid of this program. There is a way to remove this thing manually, but this application desperately tries to prevent this from happening. First and foremost, it hides its files in the app data local programs folder, instead of program files that you would normally expect. Since Windows does not display this folder by default, it is not that easy to do. Also, the process keeps running and is relaunched even after you stopping it manually from the task manager. All this is topped up by the way it typically gets into your computer. It comes in software bundles, meaning that there is a high chance that several other unwanted programs are running along. With all that being said, I'd recommend using an anti-malware software to remove stop a bit. Green and soft anti-malware will be a perfect choice for that operation, as it will detect and remove not only this unwanted app, but also all other things that may have come together with it. Launch a standard scan and let it finish, it won't take long. Once the scan is complete, click Clean Now to get rid of all the detected items. As unwanted software commonly leaves a lot of its elements across the system, the removal may take some time too, as the Gradient Soft program should remove them all. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.